ever. We are also uh, having a lack in visibility this morning because some very dense fog out there. Very mm -hmm. dense. I mean, I'm over in the prior area and I had to message yeah. Annie. I was like, I can't see ahead of me. So definitely take your time on the way out the door. And of course, we'll be talking about that this morning. But at least we were hopefully able to enjoy yesterday. I thought mm -hmm. it felt pretty good. So I nice. loved it. That was nice. soup weather. Yeah. I was like <laughs> wanting soup all day. You know, even though it's a little overcast too, even mm -hmm. getting some additional rainfall in the area. I mean, no complaints, really. I think. No, I loved it. Yeah. Oh, it was nice. Nice change of pace. All right, this morning, as Emma mentioned, we do have some areas of dense fog, so much so that the National Weather Service did issue a dense fog advisory through 9 this morning. Folks, check this out. This red continuing to overspread the area, especially along and south of I-40 and then back towards uh, right over where Emma was at and extending down towards Claremore. That's where we're seeing the worst of the visibility right now at a zero mile for those locations. One to Claremore, still water at a one mile visibility. Zero over to Tahlequah. Here in Tulsa, we're at a 10, but if you pulled in a little bit tighter, our friends in Jinx down to a one. Claremore at a one mile visibility, four mile visibility to Sand Springs at this time. So I do expect this fog to even get a little bit worse before we see any improvements. What does this mean? Allow extra time out the door. Use those low beam headlights. Make sure that you're allowing extra time out the door, especially be mindful kids are walking to the bus stop. I went ahead and set this into motion up until about 11 a.m. where we do see improvement. Anything 10 and above is good to go. We do have some cloud coverage that will be rolling in from the north that will be impacting those temperatures as we go throughout the day today. Right now, no clouds. We are clear. Winds are remaining very calm. Dew point lighting up with that temperature. That's creating that areas of concern. So we have the right ingredients uh, to get that fog going. As soon as that sun comes up at 714, that should help us a little bit. But keep in mind that dense fog advisory in the forecast through 9 a.m. 60 here in the Tulsa Metro, 59 down to McAllister, 55 over towards Tahlequah. As we do see those dew points this morning, they do remain generally in those 50s and 60s. If that dew point starts lining up with that temperature, that's when you start to see that drop in visibility quite a bit. Uh, so we're keeping a close watch on things for you here in the station. Cloudy and mild temperatures, no complaints uh, really in this forecast. You're hoping for a little sun. We'll get some for tomorrow, but we do see that cloud coverage being pretty stubborn for today. In addition, we do see some opportunities for some showers and a few thunderstorms later on tonight. No severe threats are anticipated. Highs today, really kind of a struggle. Here's what we're looking at. I went ahead and dropped us to 79. Some areas could be in those 80s. A lot of this will be dependent upon that cloud coverage rolling in early this afternoon. If we see a little more cloud coverage around that noon, 1 o'clock area, we'll easily stay in those upper 70s. If we see more sun around that time, we could be into those lower 80s. So tricky forecast, but we're watching closely. That's why you're seeing warmer temperatures down to the south. Here comes that opportunity for some showers and storms widely scattered at best 30 percent. Not everyone will get in on this as we do look for the uh, later part of the afternoon and into the evening hours. Again, no severe threats are anticipated, just some beneficial rainfall. Here comes that cloud coverage. I do believe this model is being a little bit more generous than what we're potentially going to see on that precipitation. We're holding steady at a 30 percent chance, but again, it will continue through the evening hours and right after midnight down to the south and we'll get it out of here. As we're looking at our radar right now, we're quiet right here, but that's not the case down in the tropics. Here's meteorologist Emily Anderos with more. That's right, Annie. We are now tra tracking potential tropical cyclone nine that is likely to become a major hurricane now as it approaches the Gulf of Mexico. So this is something we're going to be watching. There's already hurricane and storm surge watches that just shows you what's going on. But as I zoom in just a little bit, you'll notice just south of Miami that right there is very unorganized. But as we play it out, it does look to be a potential major hurricane upwards of category three annie and how will that affect us potentially here i'll have those details coming up thanks and before that again we're going to stay dry sunshine returning tomorrow keeping those pleasant temperatures around back down to 79 and then 70 by our friday as we look towards the upcoming weekend we do keep those temperatures in the mid to upper 70s